Um, this is for a mini warehouse self storage facility within the Independent Road Corridor Overlay District. Country property is about 27 or plus acres, located at 5225 and 5273 in a perimeter road. On um, the map on your screen, you see it is zoned M1, as are the properties to the north and south along this east side of the perimeter road. Um, I think this is about 2,000 feet south of US 84. So, despite the map on the screen, scale is a little bit different on these map drawings, particularly in this part of the city. Um, interestingly, the green line you see is the city limit line. Properties to the west on the other side of the perimeter are in Louds County, and they are zoned M2, um, but all currently still vacant. Um, you see the zoning pattern, character area, reflective of the industrial zoning is industrial character. Um, suburban area, this is we get into the rural area very quickly as you go eastward off of the corridor. Aerial imagery shows a mostly undeveloped pattern. Um, you see the parcel lines on here. The subject property is what is in yellow. It has recently been replatted to reconfigure some of these. Um, it is in conjunction with the Rain Pro property, which is to the north, uh, which has traded some of its area with the property to the south, really to facilitate this proposed development in their site plan. Um, survey shows that a little more clearly in terms of the dimensions. A very interesting feature um, that really affects their site plan and actually means the property is a little smaller than it looks is a very large 100 foot wide Georgia power easement um, that cuts along the eastern side of the property and that is one of the cross country transmission mains that runs down the whole east side of Alaska. Um, so a very prominent feature. It does allow for some side improvements in there, but um, no buildings of any kind, and certainly no structures too close to the power lines themselves. Um, survey your packet shows those boundaries. Um, subject property undeveloped. This is looking straight into the property. The views along the end of Perimeter Road. This is looking south toward what I call the Big Noise Industrial Park from years ago. You see the hump in the road that is the overpass over the Norfolk Southern Railroad. This is with a zoom lens, so that is a little further away than it looks. And then directly across the street, more undeveloped. And then some of the few industrial uses that are in the area that are located on properties to the north. Um, in your packet also is their proposed site plan. Um, lots of mini warehouse buildings on a little bit of a different design. Um, by their mathematics, based on the square footage of the buildings, um, more than 700 storage units could be accommodated there. All that depends, of course, on the size of each unit. What I passed out at the beginning of the meeting, at least at your stations, is an updated version of this site plan. It is mostly the same, except that you'll see on the updated version, they've added into the back along the power line easement an area for outdoor boat storage under a covered shelter um, that with its access drive is just under an acre of land. What that in effect does is shrink down the length of some of these buildings in the middle. So the east-west orientation would not go quite so far east. Uh, basically, if you look at the three buildings on the right that are not quite as long, when you were to take that length and extend Apply that to all the buildings going toward the left. That's the main difference between the plans. So a little less storage area in buildings, but also a pretty good size outdoor storage area for boats under cover, which I'm not sure if we have any facilities like that in the community that offer that, um, at least at that scale. Um, in terms of the world of many warehouses, this would be at or above the largest that we have in the community at build out. Um, apparently there's some demand for these, but uh, we've been getting several new ones built, and I think they're filling up kind of quickly. Um, however, what's more interesting is they are proposing a little more aesthetically uh, appealing design. They are wanting to tailor a lot of the look of it after the mini warehouse facility on North Carolina's the road that is behind me is a funeral home, which has heavy landscaping. They're proposing metal siding for the buildings. But the front buildings would um, build in would be dark green panels with heavy landscaping in front of it. You see on the site plan the detention pond for the entire track would be in that front yard area that further separates the buildings from Interprimitive Road. Um, limited 
certificate signage. The applicant's engineer is here. They've got some additional handouts that show some color graphics that illustrate more of what they're talking about. Um, the overall part of the review of this in staff's mind is the location in industrial zone. Every other time we've looked at these, particularly for conditional use, it's been commercial zoning, such as the one on North Valdosta Road. And the reason for the conditional use request for that is to help what is really an industrial type building, industrial type use, albeit not real intensive, <laughs> but at least the appearance of such. For that to go in a commercial area, many times it depends on the nature of the commercial area or certain conditions to help the site plan fit a little better. None of that really exists here. It is Interperimeter Road, it is the industrial part of Interperimeter, which is only a small portion of the overlay district. The rule for many warehouses to get a conditional use is throughout the corridor, whether it be industrially zoned or not, and it is really to keep the aesthetics under control and help the corridor look a little better. Unfortunately, this part of Interperimeter, what little industrial development that has occurred, particularly in areas on to the north, do not carry too many aesthetics. And so even a small amount of aesthetics, I think, would be an improvement. The applicant is going above and beyond, trying to present some buildings that look pretty good. 10 acres of this site is set aside for many storage. You see some other buildings on the right-hand side, which is the south part of the property. That is not part of the request. Those are separate, small, warehouse-type buildings to be rented out with M1-type uses. Um, they're targeting those for probably building contractors that need a little bit of office and warehouse space and sort of a light industrial development. So that is the south end of the property. None of that requires conditional use approval. It was allowed by right in M1. It is simply the many warehouses that trigger this public hearing. Um, site plan, at this scale, is a little bit hard to read. I hope you're able to look at your digital packets and zoom in and get a better idea of the sizes for this. This has not been through plan review yet. It's simply gone through cursory review. Um, it seemed to meet all the minimums, um, but it is a lot of warehouse space that is in here. Um, some pictures. This is from the facility on North Valdosta Road. Uh, give you an idea of the dark wall and some of the heavy landscaping. And then parts in the back of the vegetation has not grown up so well. Um, you note some of the conditions address that a little bit. So with all of that, staff is recommending approval um, subject to a series of conditions, and this is what I would describe as a condensed version of the con uh, conditions we imposed at North Valdosta Road. And these are as follows. Number one, approval shall be granted for a mini warehouse self-storage facility within the Interperimeter Road Corridor Overlay District in general conformity with the letter of intent and the layout of submitted conceptual site plan and subject to all LDR supplemental standards for this use. All buildings shall be one story and not exceed a height of 15 feet. Final site layout shall be as approved by the city engineer and the fire marshal. Number two, any outdoor storage area shall be for recreational vehicles only, shall be limited to no more than one acre of total area, and shall be located at least 200 feet from the perimeter road. That revised site plan complies with that. Number three, outdoor lighting shall be directed away from neighboring properties, and lighting fixtures shall be exempt from the special design requirements of the overlay district. In other words, we don't need to have the black fixtures in the middle of the warehouse complex. Number four, the main building wall facing in Perimeter Road may include metal siding, but shall maintain a dark green color that is consistent with evergreen vegetation. Total signage on this wall shall follow the LDR requirements which would be 250 square foot maximum per sign, 400 square foot maximum total. Except for approved driveways, the entire front yard adjacent to this front building shall contain stormwater management areas and dense evergreen vegetation, as depicted on a landscape plan to be approved by the city arborist. As a guideline for this landscape design, the intent is to effectively and opaquely screen the non-signage areas of this building facade from view. This landscape area shall be maintained utilizing an automated irrigation system. That's in hopes of getting things to grow a little faster. Number five, conditional use approval shall expire after three years from the date of approval if no plans for building permit have been submitted by that time. Again, the applicant's representative engineer is here. 
with some additional handouts for you. I'll be glad to answer any questions you may have. I'm going to take the words out of Chip's mouth. Chip's mouth earlier when you so eloquently put that and you eloquently referred back to what I've heard three or four times. Mm -hmm. So just because we say they got to put the don't mean they got to do all of it. They can skip panels here and there, correct? Um, but that is not entirely correct. And <laughs> specifically for you, Mr. Bailey, I put in the land use certificates um, from the North Valdosta Road case, so you can see the conditions that County Commission recommended I, I know. is what City Council approved. But we all know they never finished the panel, so. Uh, where there's one, one side of one of the buildings on North Valdosta Road that has, for some reason, a little different material. I, I'm just saying one probably. of me that's not finished. Yeah. I got so. one other question, or maybe two. So what, what, what's a recreational vehicle? It actually is defined in the LDR. Um, boats, campers, trailers. So if jet skis. So if I wanted to place the park on a dually truck, I couldn't rent one of these? No, dually truck would be a vehicle, so you'd have vehicle storage, and that okay. wouldn't count. Okay. Unless somehow. We and, and we're going to impose an irrigation system? For the front. For example, this is going to be the nicest place out there. <laughs> it will be. And for example, this picture versus that one. Right. Yeah. All right. Now, that being said, irrigation system doesn't mean it's used all the time. Thank you. I suspect with that size roof and with the shed roof coming outward, there's going to be a lot of roof water that drains or waters the vegetation for most of the year. So I think only during the dry season. Uh, of course, my farmer's almanac 23 is going to be a wet year, so. Uh, oh, okay. Well, your almanac looks different than mine. Mine's telling me a dry year. <laughs> At least the right. first half of it. So the, the boat storage is new from last From plan, yes. Mm -hmm. They shorten the buildings in order to accommodate that. Okay. All right. Is there anyone here tonight who would like to speak on behalf of this request, if you'll come forward, please? Give this out. I'm just curious. Is this a one-stop shopping deal going to be down in phases? Um, yes. The owner would like to. He's, he plans to do the whole south side of the U-shaped building and the roadside, and the first uh, three buildings, the first three uh, storage units, interior. Um, to begin with. And phase one. Yes. Did, did, I'm just curious. To, I don't know if you we said this. Not missed it. Is, is it all? Is it in condition, all unconditioned, or will it be a combination of both? Air conditioned. Okay, the, uh, the 40 foot wide buildings, uh, the owner would like to uh, be climate controlled. Great. Uh, the 20 foot wide buildings would be exterior access, non climate control. here tonight who would like to speak on behalf of this request if you'll come forward. Is there anyone tonight wishing to speak against this request? All right, if not, I'll turn it back over to the commissioners. Is there any discussion or questions? 
All right, if not, I'll ask for the motion. Any discussion on the motion? All those, you did have discussion? Oh, you were very good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all those, in, <laughs> all those in favor of the motion to approve with condition, please raise your right hand. All those against, <laughs> and the motion carries. Uh, you were, I 